If you've been trying to export your QuickBooks Online company file back to QuickBooks Desktop but haven't been able to do it successfully, this is the video for you. Join us as we show you the best way to export your QBO information to Desktop, including the proper security settings necessary for Internet Explorer. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to test out live real quickly here the export from QuickBooks Online to Desktop. If this works, I've discovered a workaround to be able to get this to continue to work. Now, what I've already done up to this point is I've gone in and I've made a request for the file. Um, and you can see this is a bit of an older one, but I just need something that we can download and give it a try. Uh, I do currently have QuickBooks Desktop Accountant 2019 open, but no company file open. Very important. I also, in this one, I have reset my uh, security settings. So I'm expecting the first time I try this, I'm going to run into a bit of an issue, and then I'll have to drop down the security protocols. Let's go to continue to download. We're going to go download. Now, really important when you're doing this whole process, this status window back here, it's always sized too small, so you need to pay attention to that. Additionally, you do not ever want to change the file name of this whatsoever. You can add a different folder in, which I do recommend. Really, you should do the new folder ahead of time to be safe. So you can drop the, we'll do QB export test, because you want to save this file where in one place that it's going to just stay there you don't want to touch that file go save and then i would immediately try to extend that larger um we're going to go convert now okay so this is the security protocol stuff that we would always get in the past and when i do this it's going to ask me to allow but it's going to keep popping this thing up over and over and over and over and over again so when this happens, even if you do the do not show me, what I've found I have to do is go in and change the actual settings of it. Um, otherwise, you'll have something like right now, you, you would probably think that it's like hiding behind something, but it's just actually just not working. Um, so to change these settings, come up to the gear icon at the top here. You're going to go to, it's been a while since I've done this, uh, options, security, and then I took this, un disable protect mode, and then you want to go custom level. Uh, actually, I don't think I did that. We'll disable that, and let's go apply. Yes, it'll put me at risk. Um, additional items, I can come in here. This will, these should all be okay. So my instinct tells me I should actually start this process over, but what the heck, let's give this a try again. So we can sit here and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait, but I'm certain it has to do with that security protocol. Um, so I'm gonna go through and try to cancel this out. Cancel. Okay. Now. What I really should do is with the new security protocols in place, I'm going to want to go through, just double check it's still set up the way I wanted, right? Uh, boom. I'm going to close all of this out. Um, close the browser all the way. Close all tabs. Come back. Now I should get a warning at the bottom saying this is not protected, which is perfect. We'll do our qbo.intuit.com. Going to get logged in. Okay. Now this is the next part of this whole trick, is when this pulls up, it's gonna give me my different options to go into, uh, my, go into my firm. 
I found that I could never get the client page like this to pull up at all, whatsoever. So the way I overcame this was I figured out if I went to like work, it actually pulled up, gave me a list of like the different work items to where I could capture a URL for one of the companies. So that was what you were seeing back here. So what I need to do is I need to be able to get into this company file and there is no other way to do this from that client tab, which is what was like holding me up before. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna need that number as well. So I'll move this to the side real quick here. I'm gonna open a new window, paste this in, and then I'm gonna change this number to the company that I want. And now I have the ability to hit enter. Notice that C1 at the beginning is gonna to change to a C7 if I remember correctly, which means you're actually in the, the company file. So I think it does. So this is an old closed account. We're gonna click close because we can still do what we need to with the data. Now we'll come back up to here. We're gonna go export data. Exit out of that. Moving to QuickBooks, learn more. Download company data, click there. So it's giving you a checklist of things to go through, get started. I've already installed the ActiveX, so I'll hit continue. All financial data, hit continue. And then fortunately, this is where instead of having to wait again, I can now just go continue to download. So now this is gonna do my download. Before I do this part, I'm gonna come back here to my desktop, create a new folder, QB to QBD. All right, so now we've got that on our desktop. We've got a place we can put that. We're gonna go download. This will take a second, gives us a pop-up. We're gonna go from our desktop, go find our QB to QBD. Again, do not touch this whatsoever, and then hit save. Now, so that seems like it's going really, really fast. Usually it will go through and take a little bit more time, but let's go convert now. Beautiful. So see, by changing those security settings, now we got this next thing we wanted. And in this window, this is now saying create new QuickBooks file. It's a file name. We're gonna call this QB to QBD test for that good. And we'll go save. You're gonna keep an eye, if you haven't done this before, for QuickBooks to give you pop-up saying, give permission, give permission, that type of stuff. And we should actually get another little window. Boom, here's my flashing I was looking for. Um, this is very common, like you'll go to click on this, but it just doesn't like pull it up. And I've seen where you have to like minimize it or really probably just be patient, which is not sometimes a virtue of mine. So this is actively doing stuff in the background. This is where you have to be very, very patient, just kind of let it do what it's gotta do. Generally, you'll find that you get a little, little tiny box or a pop-up window here somewhere that if you take and you expand that larger, it will show you how far along in the process you really are. It should be that just by kind of hovering like this, I'd be able to just see it, but I'm not seeing it at the moment. So we'll let this go. The bigger the file, the longer it's gonna take, of course. Perfect, okay. So take this. This is what I mean by expanding this. So, 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 so important. I can't stress it enough, because this is really what's gonna show you that things are progressing along. Um, now, notice here, I'm getting my flashing again. So we wanna keep an eye for that, because if I don't, now I need to say yes, give it permission, done. And that's the normal web connector, So what that's basically doing. Now, of course, as you're um, taking this stuff down to QuickBooks desktop, I'm going to implement a shameless plug here of 
it's a great time to check out VendorSync. So that's V-E-N-D-O-R-S-Y-N-C dot C-O, VendorSync dot C-O. VendorSync is an application that helps you bring in your financial transactions into QuickBooks Desktop. It basically helps you pull in your bank file to VendorSync, and it's going to start to auto-suggest payee names based off the bank memos, and then the categories based on the categories you assign to it. So it's a really, really big time-saving tool especially for rebuilds or uh, reoccurring monthly clients. So as we're watching this, you can see I'm watching immediately here, records being processed. This is the thing for me for the longest time is I, we didn't see this and we couldn't expand it. So we never knew what was actually happening or not. So this right now appears to be working well. One of the reasons why we would go through this process Whenever we have a client that's on QuickBooks Online, and if we are ending an engagement, whether it's on their end or our end, we like to take and create our own uh, backup copy of the QuickBooks Online company information in QuickBooks Desktop that we can store in our archive just to be on the safe side. We never know, and we've, we've had this happen multiple times, where if somebody... Um, if somebody decided not to continue on with QBO and they lost their data or something, we then have this backup, which is great. But actually, more importantly, if there was ever a situation that somebody else came in after us and started to make historical changes, and since we would no longer be attached to the file, this is a way that we have a record for ourselves that if we were ever to be brought into question as to how something was or was not done, this gives us the ability to say, well, no, look. This is exactly what we had done previously. Um, most people would say you could just go to the audit log, take a look at the audit log that way to try to validate or prove it. But because they now have these different um, applications like Chronobooks and Rewind, or different ways that you can take and grab information and move it over, we're not certain that that audit log would provide us the level of, um, of proof or guarantee uh, without having this backup itself. 95%. So we are recording the final parts of this to uh, just make sure if there's any kind of glitches or anything that pop up, we can let you know. We have not touched the web browser. We've left everything alone just to kind of do what it's got to do. Uh, this is probably taking about 12 minutes roughly. Um, and this is actually a pretty small file in comparison to most of ours. So Let's see how this finishes up and pulls up. Fingers crossed. Congratulations, you completed the process. Okay, so now we did the export. I'll go back to QuickBooks. So with this here, if we now go back to Account Center, this should open up nicely for us in a second here. Beautiful. And go to our... Uh, Chart accounts, and we're going to see all of our accounts and such all inside of here, which is awesome. So, this means we were successfully able to export from QuickBooks Online to QuickBooks Desktop. And again, I will add a I will add a URL into the description of the video to help people figure out how to do this. The reason we had difficulties before in case other people were as well is even when you went into Internet Explorer 11, I showed you how to go in, change your settings to where it will actually give you the ability to do it. Um, but even with those settings changed, we could not access our client list to be able to get to the client account to then request the export file. Uh, the one thing I will say is when I did the export, I tried doing an export on a different company file yesterday, and I still haven't received any information on it yet, it, but it hasn't actually been 24 hours. So this happened to be a file where the export had already been created not too long ago, and now we just pulled everything through and we were able to do what we needed to on the setup. So um, super, super excited. Hope this video is helpful to people out there and on that note here's wishing you a very successful week